Hey guys, welcome back to Mana's Magical Mondays. This little series is about other games I'm interested in that aren't The Sims. So these are going to be witchy, cozy, farmy, indie, probably lots of indie games. We'll, we'll play along together. Some of these games I definitely haven't played before, so we will be experiencing these games all together. Let's hop into the spinning wheel and uh, see what game we get today. Ooh, witchy life story! Yay! I've heard so much good things about this game. Hey guys, this is Editor Mana, and I just wanted to let you know I am going to be cutting up this episode just simply because there is a ton of dialogue to go through. And I really don't want an hour long video of me just reading. That's boring as heck. I will be cutting it short. Bear, bear with that situation. That was my PSA for today. We'll get back to the game. All right, look at us. It's so cute. All right, I think it. this is a, uh, a mouse one. Okay, so body. No, I don't have moles. Let's check out our preset bodies. I am not buff. I am Pretty much a stick, okay. Twos and more. Face, I've got curly hair and it's short right now, so we'll do that. Eyes, we'll do those cute eyes. The eyebrows, those will work. We'll use those. We'll just do generic mouth. We'll do the open smiley face. That one, I like that one. I am a she, her, no shadow. Do we got glitter? Oh yes, we totally have glitter. Definitely glitter. Oh, I like the blush. Okay, we'll do blush one, but let's look. We'll, we'll do those lips for now. Let's try. Okay, I did that. Okay, fashion, crocheted outfit. Oh, I like the way that this is. Drawn, this is so pretty. I don't know my style. I mean, I would like that. That's kind of witchy, like Kiki's delivery service maybe. I will go with that one. Well, what, what, what's the hat? Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness gracious. I like that too. Pretty. Guys, I can't decide. I might have to come back and decide. We'll we'll do the clip for now. No frames. I don't have glasses. Although I have blue light glasses, earrings, I do have earrings. Um I kind of like those. Let's do those. Let's do those. Okay. And we're, we're going to have Mana, Mana Von Tessel. And I think she looks really cute. It's, it's spring. I'm going to keep it the pink in the florals just because I am manifesting spring so hard over here. It's blizzarding right now. Well, well, we just had a blizzard. Okay, so I'm done. My name is Mana Von Tessel. I'm 18 years old and have a crow familiar named Ramsey. Oh, I dislike listening to my gran and people in drama. I like my familiar Ramsey and witchcraft and being me. Everyone in my family thinks I'm hopeless, which is why they sent me here to the village of Flora to prove I'm worthy of having the Von Tessel family name or whatever. Honestly, I wasn't listening all that much when my gran told me. Well, I think this is it. <laughs> yeah, the village is pretty small. People do actually live here. Kaka. We need to go to the town hall, right? Grant said something about that. Yeah, yes, that crow was ticked off at us. Whatever, I was in there. Well, I guess it was Grant's choice to send me here. The rest of my family just wanted to disown me. Ooh. Either way, I'm here, aren't I? Isn't that enough? When they could have just... Let me do my own thing. But no. 
so I acted out a little. They deserved it. She's a little smug, eh? And don't tell me you didn't think it was a little funny. I need to get my frustrations out somehow. No, mana, that's not how you hold a theme. If you don't know what a theme is, it's a knife. Mana, why don't you wear the traditional Von Tessel garb? Von Tessel shouldn't speak like that. Are you sure she is really a Von Tessel? Maybe someone switched her at birth. Oh, the crow doesn't like this very self-critical talk. Yeah, I know it's better not to give them any mind and they're not here to say things, but they're still going to judge me at the end of it all. Sure, let's head to town hall. The mayor's supposed to be expecting us or whatever, right? Okay. Oh, so there is the town hall. I just love how this art style is. It's so pretty. I think this is it. No, you knock. You don't have hands. Use your beak. Hello, I'm Ruth, the mayor of Flora. Can I help you? The mayor. I'm Mana Von Tessel. Mana? Yes. Von Tessel? Yes. Is Margie with you? Margie? Marjoram Von Tessel. Oh, my gran. Nope. I see. Well, Marjoram will be joining you later? No. I see. I, I clicked really fast. Sorry. <laughs> Awkward silence. Gran, um, Marjoram said you'd be expecting us? Well, we were expecting a Von Tessel, but truth be told, we were expecting... Oh. The letter? Oh, that's right. My gran said to give this to you. You take the letter out of your pocket and hand it to Ruth. Ruth opens it and starts to read. You notice her face growing more and more. I see. I asked Marjorie if she could help us with our harvest festival during a critical time. And Marjorie sends me her grandchild who needs to prove she is worthy of training. Uh, Ruth, was it? Are you okay? I'm sorry, pardon me. I lost focus there for a little bit. Are you, are you sure? I just should have expected something like this is all. You're, so you're in trouble. Huh. Just a little. But you do know what you're doing. Yes. Uh, dude. False bravado and more. You're looking at the unknown genius of the Von Tessel family. Then tell me, Mana, was it, why do you need to prove you're worthy of training? Shouldn't be finishing your training at your age? Ow. Oop, oop, she called us out. I am done with my training. I just don't think my family is willing to accept that. I see. The mayor skims over the letter. Um, hmm, this letter also mentions something about a magazine. Magazine? My gran mentioned a magazine? Why did gran have to mention the magazine? Covenpolitan. That sounds familiar now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's right. It's a witchcraft tips magazine, correct? We have a villager who is an ardent reader. D do you now? Just your luck. It was all a big joke, really. No harm really intended. Though I guess the mushroom tea pushed it a little too far. But I wrote all the spells under an alias Avon Elsit. So it's not like readers knew it was a Von Tessel witch. My grand shouldn't have been snooping through my grimoire in the first place. Or rather, Avon Elsit's grimoire, even though the whole thing was made up. Of course, of course. So we shouldn't expect any of the same shenanigans? No, no, no. Did your grandmother explain what you'd be doing here in Flora? Helping out with a festival or something, yeah? Kind of. Only half listened. We're hosting our annual fe harvest festival, the Floria Festival, in two weeks. As you know, harvest festivals are held to bless our villages and lands with prosperity and abundance. 
However, for the past, well, for the past more than several years, I'm afraid, a harvest festival has been lacking and thus flora has grown smaller and smaller. And this year it's looking to follow the same pattern. It's why I reached out to Marjoram. I feel like all, all our energies are just off somehow. I was hoping she'd help us with our festival, but you got me instead. <laughs> mm-hmm. Awkward silence. Perhaps this task means Marjoram trusts you. It seems odd she'd send her grandchild to complete such a task if she didn't. More like she wanted to distance me and the family. Sometimes space is just the thing we need. Either way, I suppose we'll just have to make do. How about I show you around and introduce you to some of the villagers? All right. The crow, crow's happy about this. It's great. You, Ruth and Ramsey, make your way down the hall. Ruth knocks on an office door. Come in. Hello, Mel. This is Mana the Witch who will be helping us with the festival. Oh my goodness, hello. You look around at Mel's office. You notice all the candles, incest, charms, and magazines. She must be the ardent reader. You must be skilled in aging magic. You look so young. That's because she is. This is my friend's grandchild. I, I see, I see. Mel is my second in command. She's been a big help coordinating everything for the festival these past years. Yep, yep, and this year is going to be the best year. Oh. I just remembered I have a meeting to go to. If I run, I should make it on time. M Mel, it's it's right down the... Uh. Mel runs out the door before she can say anything. She has a lot of energy. <laughs> That she does. I suppose we should go ahead and make our way around the village. Lead the way. Okay, so where do we want to start? Let's start... Here? You slow down and put some distance between you and Ruth. Psst, Ramsey. Do you get the feeling people here don't like which... Ruth turns around. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. I think it's time I show you your home. It's the one with the garden just this way. Ooh, which one? This one? This one's my house. Oh, that one's cute. Um, home. You walk into a small cottage. Wow, it seems perfectly in order. Our previous witch used to live here. I'm not entirely sure who maintained it, but hopefully it's to your liking. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you know what? I'm done with her sauce, so it's perfect. This cauldron shall serve us nicely. Yes, of course. Make sure to check your mailbox in the morning. That's how we send our, in our orders. The garden is just through the door. You'll find all the gardening equipment you need out there too. Then there's your wardrobe and bed. There's also this moon altar, the last witch set up. She used to decorate it with items she found around Flora. I think that's everything. We are glad you're here to help us. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid our village tour has tired me out. I should let you get settled anyway. Tomorrow's your first day on the job. Sure, um, thanks for the tour. Of course, goodbye now. <coughs> yeah, all those introductions were a little awkward. <coughs> uh, why did Grant do this to me? They don't want me here, and I don't want to be here. Getting disowned would have been much, so much easier. There's got to be a way to get out of this. Think, man, I think. Wait, I've got it. There's a calendar here, right? Let's take a look at it. I want to take a quick peek at this room. It is so cute. Oh, I like the little details. But the calendar is here. Yes, this is it. See, there's a full moon on the 8th. We just need to be as perfect as possible as we possibly can until then. That was a little glitch there. Then, on the full moon, we'll perform a ritual that'll solve all their problems or whatever right then and there. Oh. Cheating? How is that cheating? It's called efficiency. Do you really want to be stuck here for two weeks? <laughs> I didn't think so. Oh. Do I really want to go back home, though? 
I don't know. But we need to get out of here first. The rest we can figure out later. Yeah, I guess it's time to get some rest. I'm going to need it for tomorrow. Okay, so... It's like, lady, go to sleep. Yes, let's go to sleep. Ooh, this is cute. All right, first day. It's morning already. Um, let's let's do some beauty magic. Ka ka. Huh? I've work to do. Uh oh. No, I thought that was a bad dream. Well, maybe if you don't didn't remind me, I, I could have stayed in my ignorant bliss, and everyone will be amazed. Yes, yes. I will go and check my mail now. Okay, there's our mailbox. Oh, cute. Okay. I'm sure nothing... Oh, all right. What do we have here? Looks like our first request is from Ruth, the mayor. Let's see what intentions and associations we can pull from her letter. I'm sure nothing to worry about, but I've been feeling a little detached from everyone recently. I've especially felt disconnected from the festival. I still... I, I do still care, but who knows? Maybe some incense could help me work through things. Sincerely, Ruth. So, we need book. Oh, some attached everyone. Disconnect from festival. And she still cares. Looks like Ruth needs some relationship focused incense with pink ingredient and another one associated with Pluto. Good, this won't take long. Gran always blows things out of proportion. Fine, I'll quit complaining and keep reading. Jeez. We will accept. It's Mel's and I's anniversary soon. Mel likes magic. Perhaps a potion could help us celebrate our current and future happiness together would be a good gift. So it's an anniversary. We celebrate our current and Mercury. Love. Orange and Mercury. Okay, I hope I'm not bothering you. Could you craft me some incense that attracts positive energy? Ideally, something that promotes tranquility, maybe happiness too. Devin. So, a shield, some blue. Uh, is that Mars? I'll figure it out eventually. I can't, I never, I'm not, I am not, I am not an astrological witch whatsoever. So, I always forget this stuff. <laughs> Okay, ka ka. Yeah, none of these seem too complicated. I guess it's time to gather materials, ingredients. We can go to the general store to purchase bottles and stuff or gather ingredients from the garden. Which one do you think I should do first? I should open my grimoire first? Oh, okay, yes, I'll make sure to ha make a habit of checking my inventory and active orders. Okay, press G to open your grimoire. Flip through the pages or use the tabs do go different sections. Okay, so I can push this or I can, oh, push the tabs. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Villagers. Oh, that is cute. Love. Villagers. Orders. Oh, awesome. Inventory. I, so I really don't have anything. So now we go through the garden or village shop, right? right? Through the door we go. Okay. We are gonna go to the village. We're gonna go to the store. Oh, she's here. Hello, my name is Jemina. Mm, she's cute. You must be Mana, the new witch. I knew it was a good idea to keep my old stock around. No good throwing things away that someday someone might buy. I also carry some antiques at a premium price. My daughter sends them to me when she's off on her travels. She always says she will visit with her girlfriend, but we'll see. You know what? I'm suddenly feeling very generous. Take some of this resin and these bottles, vials, and sachets. Free of charge. Though promise me next time you come to my shop, you'll buy one of these antiques. No one here has an appreciation for old things. But now it's time for my mid-morning tea, so I'll just close the shop. Enjoy the supplies. Yay! Oh, 
Yeah, that shopkeeper was pretty generous. But did you see the price tag on those antiques? I hope she was kidding about having to buy them. Anyway, it's off to the garden now, right? We are going to explore our cute little garden. <gasps> so pretty. Honestly, it's a little creepy how well maintained this garden is. <laughs> Do they really not know who did it? Yes, I know it's my problem now. Regardless, got to pick water. Got to pick water and weed everything. At least it seems like we've got a comp got a compost bin. We can probably use that to turn weeds into fertilizer. That should help the plants grow a little faster. Yay, gardening! <laughs> oh, that is so precious. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Okay, we'll click here. Use the gardening tools to tend to your garden, okay? First, harvest the flowers and herbs with shears. Make sure to water them after you harvest to ensure they bloom the next day. So the rose, lavender, rosemary, and chamomile take an extra day to regrow. You can also pull weeds while using the gardening gloves. The weeds can then be turned into fertilizer at the compost bin. Fertilizer helps the plants in your garden grow faster. Let's shear. Do we need to weed? Okay. Water everything. Oh, that's how you know. Okay, cool. And that, that's, oh, that is the weeds. Oh. Okay. So then we can do this one. Pretty flowers. Oh, the, look at the irises. Okay, now let's pull those darn weeds and i did water okay try this one so pretty okay we'll do the weeds and water 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 oh that one didn't get it okay 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 cool now what do i gotta do so i've got three Oh, I see. It's instant return. Okay. Perfect. So, does that mean then we can leave? Do I really have to harvest and water everything? Fine. Did I not harvest everything? Oh, is it this? Oh, because I... Ah... Uh oh, okay. Did did I not get everything? Oh, did I miss that? Oh, okay, <laughs> I missed one. Oh, did I not water that? Gardening done! Looks like I've got everything to start cranking out these spells. Let's get back inside and check out that crafting altar. Okay, crafting altar. Got some flowers, herbs, and some bottles, vials, and stuff as base materials. So let's craft some spells. Heck yeah. Of course, I don't know what spells. But I'm sure I can figure it out from the info in my grimoire. Pretty sure it's it said what plants match which associations. So let's open it up and go from there. Open your grimoire and go to the orders tab to see current orders. Click a character portrait to pin to their order. Then go to the plant section to match the symbols from the orders to plants. Click the chest of drawers to view your available plant ingredients. There should be three plant ingredients total. Make sure to check the type of spell the villager wants too. You can see what base material matches what spell type in the recipe section. Click the base materials on the altar to cycle through the ones you have in your inventory. Once you think you have the right ingredients and base material, click the cauldron to craft the spell. Okay, so we'll get our book. So rose, hollyhock, alum. Oh, it worked, huh? Right order, you gotta get them in the right order. Reconnect incense. Okay, so, oh, I'm done, not done, okay. So now, okay, order. We want to order his. So he needs a potion for his anniversary. So 
So he needs a heart potion. Potion is the jar. Okay, we got a potion jar. Okay. And then, so it's a love potion as well. Plants. So love was that. Orange is calendula. <laughs> Marigolds. <laughs> and that one, that symbol. And hollyhock. How's that? Nice. Happy love potion. Okay. Keep crafting. So now then we need this poor guys. Okay. So he needs protection blue and that one. So he needs a, oh, an incense. So this one in the shield oh, plants shield is rosemary blue is the pea flower and then this one is yarrow okay cool i'm glad i harvested that all okay finished okay all done time to deliver and my grant and then everyone will be super impressed and my grand will realize my genius. Hey, now a witch is allowed to dream. Let's just get this done. Okay, so we're out the door. Ready to head out, Ramsey. Wait, you're not coming with me. I've got to do this on my own. Please, Ramsey, don't make me do it. But what if I give you some tasty bug treats later? I know they're your favorite. Oh, he's mad. Fine, be that way. See if I ever help you again with this situation you loathe. Okay, so we are going to go to the village. Well, guys, I am going to leave this one here. I will eventually figure out how to save and we will continue on with our little story. This one is extremely long. I am so sorry for that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching Mana's Magical Monday. I hope you enjoyed this cute little witchy life story story so far. It is so cute. I like that you can customize it so well. If you like this little game, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to see even more of this Mana's Magical Monday games. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more of this game in a future episode. With all of this being said, I would like to wish you all a happy Magical Monday and I will see you all again on the next one. Bye now. I really, really hope that I can find the save button because where do I save?